Hi everybody, it's Carol. Welcome back to my channel. And I came back again with envelopes that I had um, decorated with my distressed inks. And I'm here to decorate them now. But what I'd like to do is cut them in half and make pockets out of them. So I did not glue them yet. And these are, these are seven and a half. So, let's see what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to cut them in half. Well, I don't think. I know I'm going to cut them in half. And just take it from there and decorate. Okay. So let me put this off to the side. So now I have four little pockets and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my art glitter glue and just kind of close up all these little loose ends. So that the envelope will stay closed. Okay. Yeah, so I was playing with with my distressed inks and I made quite a few envelopes and these are the last of them. So I thought I'd come along and this here is Okay, I just want to make sure that I wasn't gluing the inside of the envelope. Okay, let me get my thumb hole. And do I want to put that? Yeah, I think I will. Although, if I wanted to put... You know, I'm not going to do that right now because I may want to put um, some lace on the top. So I'm just going to close, make sure there's no loose ends over here, and just close up the envelopes. I may be putting lace on the top you know I'm not sure if I'm going to or not so I don't want to although I could I could put the thumb hole in there because even if I put lace on the top it'll still go across I'll just cover up the uh, thumb hole is what I'll do because I, I ran into that a couple of times where I would cut the thumb hole and then I wanted to put the lace on. So then I just put the lace over the thumb hole. So that's fine. That doesn't hinder anything. Okay. This is afternoon, late afternoon crafting for me, and my allergies have really been bothering me because we have so much pollen, and my throat gets so raspy by the afternoon. So, okay, so I'm going to close up my art glitter glue. I probably should have a throat drop inside my mouth right now just to help me along. But anyway, okay, so 
you know, I don't know if I'm going to make this into a floating pocket or not. So what I'm going to do is just decorate the front and take it from there. Now I have a lot of ephemera around me and I brought some, I brought some green tissue paper just to, just to put a little, just a little something on here. I really, I like doing that. And then decorating on top of that. I think it looks so nice. Maybe I don't want to cover up too much just to put a little bit down. And I find it easier using the glue stick. And of course with the glue stick I don't put I don't put the glue stick directly on the tissue paper because, because it's going to tear it apart. Okay, so I did bring my mushroom, no, but yes, I did bring some mushrooms here. Okay. I brought a couple of them. Oh, that looks pretty, but I think what I need to do is ink this. Oh, you know what else I wanted to do? I wanted to bring in some script. I wanted to put some script down on here. Okay, and then I'm going to ink up my mushrooms. So let's see. I thought I had another mushroom over here. I wonder, oh, here it is. Here you go. Okay, let's see. Just trying to figure out. And I, I really like putting my botanical definitions down here also. Especially when I'm using mushrooms. Oh, that looks pretty. And I like the background with the tissue paper, with the green tissue paper. See, now this would be pretty with uh, some lace on the top. And I hope I have, I have my bag of lace over here. Okay, so I do have enough. All these little strings hanging. You know what? I'm going to start putting these down before I put the lace on. Oops. Let's see if I can get this up a little bit. I want to move it over just a tad. Uh, 
everything is so full of pollen right now. The cars are full of pollen and I can always tell actually with, you know, when my allergies start acting up and it was so hot the last couple of days. It was so warm outside and so we turned the air on and I thought, well, it's great for my allergies anyway to turn the air on and but then today it's kind of cool you know and as much as I want to have the air on I had to turn it off because I mean we were in the 80s for two days and then so today we're back down to like 58 60 degrees and you know and there's no humidity so you know I we just try because it was colder in the house and you know it was so cold that I couldn't put I couldn't keep the air on so But I hate having all the pollen. Okay, so. Okay, now that, that looks nice. So what I'm going to do is just ink this up a little bit because it's so white. So there. That looks nice. And I'm just going to keep it looking like this. I'm not going to put any blink on here. And here's our pocket. And what I'll probably do is put it in a journal and just, you know, hook it in on two sides and then leave that option for a journaling card behind there. So here's a journaling, here's a pocket for a journaling card. And I'll bring this one in. And I think what I want to do is put script on all of them. I just love script on top of on on this uh, paper on the ink the inking paper just randomly put it on here okay let's see what I have here okay um I do have, I brought in some, I do, I brought in some of this little rose, rose paper. I think this is from, from Tim Holtz, from Tim Holtz paper, from a paper pad. And then I do have a little, a little pink mushroom here. And I have a butterfly. Oh, this is huge. That's too big. I think I have a smaller one. Okay, here's a smaller blue one. And... I could probably follow suit with let's see if I can bring some lace in on the bottom or even on the side put that on the bottom have another no I don't like these these are huge look at those mushrooms unless if I put oops no I don't like this one I think I'm gonna keep this here keep that there 
and I will use the blue butterfly because there there is blue on here. And I want to be able to, oops, she hears something. Okay, I'm going to glue that down over there. I don't know what she hears because I don't hear anything outside. Our neighbors were working earlier, but it was, became quiet in the last couple of hours. Although, isn't it the truth? They can hear, hear anything. Hmm. I like these ferns. Oh, but if I put the fern down, I won't have any... Still get the butterfly over there. Okay, let's see. Put the fern over here. Maybe we'll just put make it that sticker off there. Maybe we'll put the lace just on the, just on the side over there. Oops. Oh, that looks pretty. That looks really nice. And let's see if I just put a little piece of, I could go all the way across. Yes, I'm going to go all the way across. Oh, I'm loving this one. You know, like I said before, you can, you know, I just bring some ephemera out and just, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then I go from there. And it usually always just comes together. Oh, that looks so pretty. And I will ink this up a little bit just to take that stark whiteness off the ribbon. Okay, two down. And here are my other two. Okay, so here's the top. And let's see, I'm going to ink or I'm going to put some script on here. I want to make sure this is not upside down. I really like this script on here. Okay. All right, I'm going to put some roses on here and what what else do I have here I do have these little pieces of ephemera
see. I'm liking that. I'm really liking that. Oops. I apologize. I don't know what she's hearing. Okay, I'm going to glue this on here. I don't hear a thing out here. I don't know what she is barking at. She probably hears one of the dogs across the street. Now, do I'm going to put this on here, or I do have other flowers. Yeah, I think. Oh, well, this one here is really pretty, too. I like the label. I'm going to put the label right here. And this is just falling into place for me. I need my little my little doohickey here. I am running oops, so low on my floral stickers, and I just, I love these floral stickers. Look at how pretty that looks. That looks really nice. Okay, now I do want to continue with the lace. Oops. But it's just where... Go on the bottom again or on the top? I think I'm liking it on the top, this this one here. Okay. I love doing this with the envelopes, painting them with my distressed inks or inking them with my distressed inks because I love the background. I love the background that it is bringing. And, you know, sometimes I'm uncertain with the way it looks. You know, like the back here, it's kind of like, and I know in the camera, these look like, really big orange orangey yellow blobs but it's not when i'm looking at it it's um really light but on camera it looks really dark but you know once you start decorating it it just look at how pretty that looks and it just matches with everything like the little teapot here is the color of the ink down here so pretty Okay, so here's the last one. I have to make sure I have the top. And I think I'm going to do floral again. Where's that? Oh, here's this. I wonder how this here would look. These. Hmm, I don't know if they're kind of too dark.
I'm really liking this here, these roses. But what I want to do is, I think I'm going to bring in more of my green paper if I can find it. Oh my gosh. Oh, here it is. I knew I had it here. So I'm just going to rip a sheet off, a little piece off here. I was really loving the way that that this was looking Would that still be too dark? I don't know. Let's see. I think so. I think that would be a little too dark. Oh, here's a rose that I love. I love this rose. Oh, but it looks really... It looks better without the paper, I think. Yes, unless I... I think I like better without the paper. Maybe put the bird on this one. All right, I'm going to put some script on it. I think it needs some script. so pretty. I am really liking that. It's easier when it's on paper to get this off. Oh my gosh, I really love that. Maybe I should just make this a rosy paper. I do have these little, and they're really little. I don't know, I don't think I like that there. Nope, not that. I do have this. Oh, that's huge, that butterfly. I could put the bird. I could put the bird up here, and let's see if I have any... A label just follows suit with everything else that's on here. And then I'll put my lace on the bottom on this one again. Okay, yes, I'm liking the way that looks. When I put the bird next to the label, I think it's just falling right into place. Oh, that looks pretty. So,
So we're going to get some lace down here. And when I'm through with this, I'm going to make myself a cup of hot tea. I probably should have done that before this. But, you know, I wasn't really talking that much. So I didn't realize how my throat was really kind of a little sensitive. Okay. Oh boy, am I loving these envelopes. Get this, the whiteness off there. Okay, so you know, I've been really trying to use up a lot of my ephemera pieces or projects that I started. And I'm really loving this. Now I have to get a journal together. I do have a couple of them. I'll have to get them all together and, you know, start putting a lot of my ephemera into the journals. So anyway, this is it. And I love these. I love the way these turned out. If I had more envelopes ready, I would have I would have finished them. But anyway, this is what I have right now. Thank you so much for coming along and joining me. And we'll talk again soon. You have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye.